Hi everyone, it's Shannon. I have a huge Dollar Tree haul for you today. It has been a long time since I've done a Dollar Tree haul. I had to actually go pretty far back to find my last one, which was way back in February, which was over four months ago. This is also the very first haul video that I'll be doing from inside my she shed. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check the iCards. I'll also put a link down in the description box to a playlist to my whole she shed build. So it's finally nice to be in here cozy and working and being able to film videos for you guys from inside. So I really haven't done a whole lot of Dollar Tree shopping. I might have run in for a couple things here and there during the whole like episode of things that have been going on lately. We are actually moved on to phase four of the whole reopening process. So I did stop in, do some leisure shopping, and spent a lot of money. So <laughs> I think after four months I'm allowed to, right? Especially since a lot of these supplies you're going to see today are for videos that I bring for you guys. So a lot of the things you're going to see are for upcoming tutorials. That's why I love to do these videos, these haul videos. So you can see what I'm grabbing now that I will have on hand for upcoming tutorials. So even though I did a huge, massive haul, you're not going to see everything in this video. We get a lot of our personal items like paper plates and cleaning supplies. The kids always grab their own things. So I'm not going to include any of that in this haul. This is all strictly going to be two separate things. Well, maybe three separate things, basically crafting supplies, organizational supplies, and then also 4th of July. I thought I would throw that in there for you too. So let's go ahead and jump right into this haul. I am going to share with you $75 worth of Dollar Tree items. I have multiples of a lot of things, so hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. But let's go ahead and start with 4th of July. So as you can see, I have a cute little bag. They had these for a dollar, of course, and I thought it'd be a fun way to keep all of my 4th of July stuff together. We, obviously, there's not going to be a whole lot of firework displays going on, so we are getting together with another family to just have a small barbecue, fun time for the kids to play and things. So because we're going to their house, I always feel like I need to bring a lot of things since it's not at my house. So these are a lot of the things that we're just bringing to like help make the night more fun. So I got a lot of paper plates and napkins. So we got some flag paper plates. And then I also just grabbed one of each of the star colored plates in red, silver, and blue. So these are kind of be more for like food and this more for dessert or fruits and that kind of thing. And also lots and lots of the flag napkins, which are super cute and match the plates. Now onto the fun stuff for 4th of July. We got these party poppers, two bags of those. The rest, please keep in mind, they will be supervised. We will definitely not let these kids just run around with these items. But smoke bombs are always so much fun. We have two packages of those. They each come with six in a pack. Who doesn't love the poppets for 4th of July? That you, these are those things you just throw on the floor, they make a loud noise, so as long as they're not throwing them at each other, they should be fun. We also have some snakes. These are pretty funny. If you've never tried these, you light them and they make little snakes. They're just fun and uh, I know that the kids are going to get a good laugh out of these. Lots of sparklers because these are pretty uh, short ones. They're smaller so they don't last as long. So I think each pack comes with maybe like six or eight each one and then there's three per pack. So we want to make sure you had plenty for the kids to use if they wanted to do multiple ones. Also, we are going to a home with a swim pool. So I found this cute beach ball that is 4th of July themed. So I thought that'd be fun for the swim pool. Next are glow sticks because whether you're at home or whether you're away at a friend's house or going to a fireworks display, these are so fun to have since you're going to be outside at night. And I found these. These are red, white, and blue. So these are 4th of July themed and they have five in each one. So I grabbed these first and then later on I came across these. There are 16 in here. So obviously each one is a dollar. So I thought, you know, maybe if one of the girls wanted something that was a little more themed or if they just wanted to throw some of these in the swimming pool. I just basically grabbed these. They were only a dollar and there were 16 in there. So keep that in mind. They have different packs at Dollar Tree. So maybe you need a lot, grab these. If you only need a few and you kind of want to look more patriotic, grab the red, white, and blue ones. So that's all of the 4th of July. The rest of it is all really basically crafting supplies and organizational supplies. 
Uh, keep in mind that I have a very small Dollar Tree. So I think a lot of people think because I find some really cool finds that I must have this amazingly huge Dollar Tree. I do not. I have a very, very small one. It's just really well taken care of. The owners and the managers must just do a really good job of stocking and ordering and keeping up with things. So I usually just get really, really lucky. And since I didn't really go in during the pandemic, I didn't notice that like shelves were empty or that things were missing and pretty much had what I needed. But recently, just this month in June, they have restocked and put so many cool new crafting supplies and organizational items out that I kind of just went a little bit too crazy maybe not too crazy because I know I'm going to use them, but I want to definitely share those all with you. This first one is so, so cool. I could not pass it up. When you see cool things, I always tend to buy them in multiples. So I did grab two. They are giant wire wreaths. So let me show you because I picked up a small one too because I didn't have any more of these in stock. So here's a small one compared to the big one. So I've these have been around for a really long time. This one says 14 inch. These are 18 inch, so quite a bit bigger. So I grabbed two of those, have on hand. Wreaths, you can never have enough wreaths. These were another amazing thing that I had never seen at Dollar Tree before, so I grabbed three of these. They are retractable holders, they say, and basically you twist these plastic tubes open and you can keep different things in there from pencils to crafting supplies and you just twist them back closed. How cool is that? Put a little, they have a little loop on them. I feel like these would be really, really great for like camping too. Um, kind of like a waterproof type closure that you could hang on to. So lots of ideas you could use with these. I would love to hear you guys' ideas. So leave those down in the comments of what you would use these cool uh, retractable holders for. Cause I, I have a feeling these could come in really handy for a lot of things. I also grabbed some pipe cleaners. I was really, really low on these. And these are great for making bows. So you can tie up the middle and then you can just tie these onto wreaths or tie your bows onto wreaths. They come in a pack of 45. They had some like multicolor packs and I think they had black too maybe, but I just got two of the white. I also grabbed this little pack of paint. I know they usually have things like this, but this was like a fresh pack. So I went ahead and grabbed this. Uh, just a good thing to have on hand for my little guy. I want to do some more organizing in my craft room. So I picked up these paper trays and they are black and they stack on top of each other. So I have five of these. Now, I don't know if these are new or if they've been around and I just never noticed them. So if you guys have seen these for a while, let me know down below. But I just happened to notice these at my Dollar Tree this week. They are portable hanging file storage boxes and they are basically like file sized boxes that come with lids. So I thought these would be so, so good for storing paper in, storing files in, storing receipts in, crafting supplies, all kinds of stuff. So my Dollar Tree only had three, so I grabbed all three and I'm gonna keep my eye out because I think I want a bunch of these. These are also really cool. I've used these in tutorials before. They are little plastic buckets with handles, so little pails, and they're such a good bargain. You get three of them in one pack, and I grabbed two sets of them. And now along the lines of storage, Dollar Tree has different types of drawer storage. So these are little plastic containers. These smaller ones come in a set of three. So I have two of those. And then these longer, more rectangle ones come in a set of two. So I picked up three of those. These are kind of more on the bargain end. They have nicer ones that have rubber in the bottom, but you have to buy those one at a time. Whereas these you get two in a set and these you get three in a set. So I kind of went for more of the economical version of these. Now these, I wish I would have picked up more while I was there. I only grabbed two at the time. They're just plain wooden blocks, maybe about, yeah, it says they're two and a quarter inches square. And I wish I would have picked up about three more because when I went back, the whole entire box was gone. So I don't know if I can find more at another Dollar Tree or not, but I have two for now. Dollar Tree also has some really great wooden products, obviously with the little wooden blocks that they have too, but this was a cute little uh, scalloped edge wood plaque. 
Now these are stinking amazing. I cannot even believe these were only a dollar. I haven't put them together yet, so I don't know how sturdy they are, but it says they are pencil and brush organizers. It has 49 holes and keeps your brushes and art tools organized. I just, I don't know. I feel like this is such a smart thing and also such a super inexpensive thing. So I grabbed two. I hope that this does what I need them to do. Uh, I may need more, but what a great deal. They're round, so you can kind of like put them one in front of any, each other or stack them on the side if you need them to, put them on your desk. Um, I almost wonder if you could figure out a way to stack them and make them even taller. So if you see these at your Dollar Tree, I wouldn't pass it up. This is a pretty cool find. A few other art supplies are just some regular paintbrushes, some pom-poms. My son needed some more colored pencils. They have these really cool ballpoint pens. They're in rainbow colors. They're more of like the gel type, so I grabbed that. I love writing in color. And you get eight of them, eight for a dollar. So huge, huge bargain. And just some more erasers in the rainbow colors. Now my Dollar Tree didn't have a lot of different fabrics, but I could tell they had just put these out. So this is like a pink fleur-de-lis, or I guess that's how you say it. I'm not quite sure how you say that. My mom loves this symbol. She has them in her bathroom. Um, but it's just a cute little thing of a fat square, a fat quarter. A fat quarter, that's what they're called. Of fabric that is 18 inches by 21 inches. So I have a project with this coming up. I always grab my tissue paper from Dollar Tree. You cannot beat the price. 24 sheets of this rainbow paper for only a dollar. Of course they have white and they also have some really cute patterns too. I need a way to organize some of my smaller crafting items and Dollar Tree has these organizer cases. So they're little plastic containers and the lid pops open. So you can put all your little trinkets and things in there to organize. I grabbed three of these and they stack really nicely too. So hopefully three is all I need, but um, if I need more, they're only a dollar. I just go back to Dollar Tree and grab a few more. Next, I grabbed six of these glass containers. You might be able to see them off to the side here. I have the rest of them, but Dollar Tree has some of the best glass containers for storage. And these have little plastic lids on the top that just screw on. But I love that these are more square, so they actually butt up next to each other a little bit nicely and they'll sit next to each other in a row better than like round wood, so you'll get more storage inside of the containers. So like I said, I grabbed six of these. Now I love these too. Anything wood that Dollar Tree carries, I always find some really cool uses for. These are wooden boxes, and then they have a wooden drawer that pulls out. I've already done one craft with these for 4th of July. I will link that video down in the description box if you wanna go watch that. But I grabbed six more of these because I have a really cool idea. And then these seem so simple, but they have so many different uses for them. They are paper towel holders, so just a little metal stand, and I will share with you what I have in mind for this. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe so you see upcoming tutorials of the things that I'll be using these items for. If you love Dollar Tree DIYs, I'll pop up some inspirational tutorials next to me that you'll definitely want to check out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.